Welcome back to GoUSFBulls.com. I'm senior writer Tom Ziebold, and I'm here with special guest Sergio Rocco, new assistant men's basketball coach. Welcome to USF. Great to be here. Now, you have 25 years of coaching experience. You've been all over the map from high school to college to the professional level. Kind of give uh, fans a little run-through of, of where you've been and what you've been doing. How long do you have? <laughs> Well, um, I'm originally from Miami, started my coaching career at Miami as a JV coach at Miami Senior High School. And from there, I have the opportunity to be uh, an assistant at FIU 1987. They were going Division One, and uh, I started there with them and was there for four years. Uh, then had an opportunity to go overseas and coach a pro team, be an assistant at a pro team in Puerto Rico in the uh, summer of 91. And then in 91, I started at Norland High School. I was there from 91 to 95, um, built a real nice program there. Went back overseas to uh, Dominican for a year, and then I went to Venezuela for a year. I was a professional he head coach there, and in that time frame, 96, 97, I coached a guy by the name of Orlando Antigua that was just uh, finishing up his career or starting his career, I'm not sure, with the Globetrotters. I know he had played with them because the way he was playing with me looked like he had been playing with the Globetrotters. <laughs> and uh, we've had a great relationship since uh, with his mom. His brother was a sibling then, uh, knows my wife well. We've, we're very proud of his track record and always kept up and any questions that he had at that time and, and I had at that time, we'd always uh, share information on recruiting and, and, and things in the profession. Uh, so, and, and then from there, uh, I was lucky enough to go to UTEP mm -hmm. and be an assistant under Billy Gillespie uh, and had the uh, largest turnaround in Division One history from going from 6 and 24 to 24 and 6 in one year. And then in that year, uh, I became the head coach, went back to FIU, became the head coach at FIU. Uh, Billy Gillespie took the Texas A&M job. And Doc Sadler became the head coach at UTEP. So I don't think never in, in, in one program is three guys get head coaching jobs at other places. Yeah. So it was a phenomenal run for us and a magical year. Uh, after FIU, it was FIU five years. Unbelievable experience coming back home, mm -hmm. having an opportunity to coach there. Um, um, uh, did some good things. Uh, and we thought we moved the program in the right direction. Yeah. Uh, then they had a coaching change, and uh, I went back to Venezuela for a year, coached pro ball. Uh, my wife is from Venezuela, so at the same token, we went back, and, and she spent some time with her family. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I had the opportunity and got lucky to uh, become an assistant at Ole Miss. Andy Kennedy, who had worked with Frank Martin at Cincinnati, uh, and Frank Martin and I worked together at Miami Senior High School. So this little circle continues in the profession. And I was blessed to be at a great program at Ole Miss, uh, a very successful coach in and Andy Kennedy, who's the winningest coach in that program's history. And two years ago, we had the best run they've had in 36 years, winning the SEC title and going to the NCAA tournament. Uh, so that program there, we built that one too. And, uh, and when this happened with Orlando, uh, I thought it was a no-brainer for various reasons. Number one, Orlando, and I believe that that kid has it. And when I say kid, is because he's a lot younger, and I remember when he was a kid, but he's a steady, uh, very polished young man who's been ready uh, through his uh, Pittsburgh years as a player and as a coach, and under the best or one of the best in Calipari at Kentucky. He's seasoned for greatness. And uh, in this place, the uh, University of South Florida, you know, 49,000 students. Um, one of the largest universities in the country. I've seen the growth. Uh, being at FIU, we've seen all the state schools grow and we've seen the magnitude of this school. Uh, Mark Harlan, being a new AD, coming from UCLA, his passion, uh, his work ethics. I think uh, uh, our president here made two great choices and to move this program forward. And I think sky's the limit. Uh, I'm not here to get a suntan or get wet, as you see, because it rains every afternoon. I'm here to win a national championship. And if UConn can do it in our league, and this is a great basketball league, we think we can do it here. And that's a challenge that I'd like to have somewhere that before I retire at some point, not in the near future, win a national championship. That's great.
And now being re reunited with Coach O is one thing, but to be here, what do you see out of the team so far? What do you see out of the whole philosophy and, and even this nice practice facility you get to come to every well, day? Well, you have the resources here. This, this makes it a complete resource in, for us to be able to recruit. Uh, it helps us. It enhances the opportunity to keep the local talent in Florida that we have the same facilities as the others. Um, the league, the league is, is self-explanatory when UConn wins it. Mm -hmm. um, Orlando uh, is going to bring a style of play that people want to come to games. Uh, the kids that we have now that have stayed, I've really, really bought in and are working extremely hard. Probably in my years in college coaching, the best group of kids that have done things on their own all the time in the summer, which usually is not the case when there's yeah. so many other things to do. They've bought in to put in their extra time and they've worked extremely hard. Are we talented enough to be where we're at? No, not, not at all. We, we're, we're missing, we still have two open scholarships uh, that we're gonna fill with good players. We're not just gonna fill the roster with players, we're gonna fill with good players. So uh, we think the guys that we brought in fit the way we play. And uh, we're gonna be extremely young, but we're gonna be extremely passionate and hard playing. And uh, we're, we're excited. Now, with Coach O, you guys have a, a great staff, tons of experience from NBA on. What are your responsibilities, main responsibilities going to be, and, and kind of what's your coaching style where fans can see, you know, kind of how you're going to be with the players? Well, as far as coaching, I'm, I'm more of a defensive guy. I'm more of a guy that, that, that uh, will look at the defensive end and, 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 and change up and try to help Owen changing defenses during the game. Uh, on my day-to-day uh, responsibilities will be his eyes and ears because I've done it before and uh, your first year you'll you'll be spinning a little bit because so many things are coming at you as a head coach from all directions from recruiting to fundraising uh, to academics and uh, I'm there for him that when I see something beforehand I think just to tap in the back and say coach we need to do a B and C uh, it's something refreshing for him that he knows that whatever he slips I'm there to pick up for him 25 years of experience, the love of the game, the kids are, are keeping you young. I haven't worked a day in my life when it comes to basketball. That's this great. is not work. Uh, work is what our, my parents my parents did, that's work. You know, they, they were laborers and uh, they weren't educated enough to be able to have an opportunity that I had. They worked hard for me to have this and I've taken full advantage in having be around education and young people and help them with their goals in life is, is, is very rewarding. Well, Coach, again, welcome to USF. Thank you. For Coach Rocco, I'm Tom Zebold. Thank you for visiting GoUSFBulls.com.